wondered how to play like that. No, but for real, uh, we're gonna make our own custom arpeggiator sounds. So that was a preset under this old blues piano. I wonder what this would sound like. Um, anyways, uh, so there's that. We're gonna make our own. How we are going to do that is, well, first, think of a plan. Whatever your plan has, go to pattern, pattern mode. I'm going to change this audio real quick. Let's see, Let's see utility. Hold up. Draw on a blank. Mixing. Effects. Audio in. Left, right, mono. There, now. Stereo. We're going to make a drum beat. Category search. Hopefully everyone knows that by this one time in the tutorial uh, series. Or if you're new, you got a keyboard. Learn category search. Drum percussion. I like this one. Stereo drum kit. Uh, length, I want to change to one. I want to go sequence setup. That button's right there. Normally it has it on one measure. I like two measure counting. Um, you can change the tempo and stuff right there. You, you can actually, yeah, you can tap. You can tap the tempo if you want it. It'll average out your taps and that and your other settings, which would be helpful to know. But I'm not covering them. <laughs> okay. Record button. I hate this loop, so turn it off. What's it do? Basically, you're going to play, and then it's going to loop over what you just played. And delete it, replace it, or overdub it. It's going to play alongside it. Um, so it's going to stop right right when the, the measure's in. That's what I want. Quantize. Um, this will be helpful to some of you guys. You will want to use this right off the bat. I intend to make mistakes. Um, I mean, I'm going to try to play it right. You guys are going to laugh, uh, but this is going to be a mistake. So I'm going to fix them and show you the natural way to fix it without using this cheat button, which is nice. Uh, quantize, what it does is it's going to round off all your notes uh, to quarter note, you know, eighth and so on. Um, quarter note is 480. And these other uh, divisions, it's got the number right there. It's going to round them to that end of the computer, which is the keyboard. I'm turning it off for now. We're going to show you how to edit it afterwards. Okay. Yep, let's do this. Two. Hold up. I played the wrong note. Okay, so let's try to make some sense out of that. There's our recording. Um, by the way, you only can do up to like 16 notes, I believe, I read. And after that, the machine will change it. I've not done so much work to play with this to find out, but like I said, that's what it said. Um, but let's try here. Patch. Stereo. Edit. But, oh, there we go. I was like, where'd it go? So I'm gonna change this all to zero or 240. This is where quantize comes in handy. But also if you want to change it, make sure you hit enter after you select it. Don't don't um, just click away, because if you do, it's gonna set it back and you're gonna be like, hey, what's going on? You hit the enter button after you changed it. Uh, that's that's after you change this whole line. I can I can switch over here infect this stuff and then hit the answer button all, all the way here is the velocity i never really got this gate thing to work as i wanted it to so i'm not going to teach you about that uh this note yep note um if you want to change it this is a cool little trick i hey, you do this for velocity too so you got the velocity setting over here and i am going to just hit a key you know you go oh yeah 120 127, oh, I got it pretty good. Oh, uh, 127 is the max. 
so you can play and see what it processes as. And the note, you can slide over the note, and you can, like, what's C4? Bam. Well, that's C3. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Um, cool. Change the rest of these. Try to make it quick. It's just foot pedal. You can also add your own little, um, if you go to insert, you can do effects like the sustain. Again, I'll put this in, I'll try to put more of what I, I learned um, in a different tutorial. This one is just for the making your own arpeggiator um, thing. And later on, I'll, I'll try to do a songwriting because I've made a couple little pattern modes. Obviously, there are way better uh, YouTube people than me or musicians that get paid to do this. Uh, it's for me, I've made stuff, so at least I got some basic understanding, and I can teach you guys for free. Everyone likes like free teaching, right? YouTube University, anyone? Instead of paying to go to some expensive music class. You just chill on the internet, watch free videos of other musicians, get some ideas. You got so much diversity on here. I like watching other other piano players, see their tricks and their tactics, things they do to to you know, just make the genre sound like a, that genre. You know, some kind of chord progression or so on. Let's see what it sounds like that I do this right. Hey, there was that double double bass in there that I've butchered. So the bass was the D note. Could it be this one? Only one way to find out. There we go, that'll suffice for now. Um, exit. Cool, now we're gonna make this and put it in, into the keyboard for use. What I've learned by doing this video, I tried to record this three times already, is I wanna save the pattern mode, okay? I think that's wise. You should probably do that too, so. That's character, It's gonna, we're gonna name it. I'm just gonna, what's today's date? Thursday. Oops. Okay, well that's we'll just well store button. Of course I want to override it. Crazy madman. Stomach. Okay, now job. Bam. Not Steve. Um, notes. It's gonna should start here. We're gonna slide over, over, track. Put to arpeggio. Okay, now K. Okay. These main sub, I have it on this full set of lines. You can change it to something else and override it if you want. But I prefer to make my own new one. So I start on A, um, and then I, I later renamed it. But let's do it on this one right there. Okay, how's this working? When I outputted it to normal, it seemed to have copied the rhythm. So I was just playing on one note. But it was like it was combining all the notes in one, which is weird. So I don't want normal. Um, fixed, fixed. What did fixed do? Fixed always when I when I played the 
no matter where I played on the keys, it always played the same notes. It, no matter if I played it up here, it transferred it down there. So that was fixed. The original notes, it took that same, you know, oops. Um, it took that same little, um, you see the spacing with the whole steps and half steps? It would transfer that over, you know, anywhere on the keyboard. So that's going to be nice um, if you're playing piano. You want this one. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's, um, I'll, I'll put this for drums. So fixed. Now I exit. We got a voice. Now let's pick a different drum kit. Let's see what. Let's go to one that I have favorited. Let's see drum percussion. Brush. No, I want. F4, type, category search, and then I'm going over, and we're going to play, turn the button on. It's fixed. And one more, I'll throw in a piano one for you guys. For you guys. <laughs> Pattern. Okay, let's. Category search, I'm just gonna. Or better yet, transcend. <coughs> okay, now to make this quick, I'll record it, quantize. Let's try something. Let's do 120. Now when it quantizes it, it should permanently affect um, when it goes in. Later on we can quantize it, so we will, um, when it plays it will quantize it. So the, the original notes will be preserved, but now it should change the original notes. I'll show you in a minute. So record. on a uh, stupid loop. Okay, so you noticed my note didn't get played. Insert. Yeah, I figured that. I'll just record it again.
Perfect. That's what I wanted. Um, export. Let's see here. Okay, job. Put track. Let's say C or A is my original note. Over here. Tap. Oh, hit keyboard button. Hold the keyboard. Actually hold that down and then I'll set it to A. Make sure you hold it down. Now let's go play this on other stuff. Uh, let's make it easier to change some of the sounds. I want to hit record. Uh, I want to turn harp sound on. I'm going to go to switch, turn it on. And then I want to find the one that I just did. Cool, so now if you're curious what that sounds like with other voices. Should be able to change them. And now you can start making your song. Actually, we do like a four measure. Three, four. Then synth pad number two. Pad, where are you at? There is something down here. Quantize this to whole note, quarter note. Three, four. Drum beat, drum beat. Uh, drums, where do you hide? There, it's really hide. Out of curiosity, I wonder what it sounds like with the one that we made. Switch on. If the switch isn't on, it's not going to play. And the light has to be on too. I click the back to make sure it's all the way on the first measure. Let's play. And then you can. Hey, there you go. Ah, quantize is on. Stupid quantize, get out of here. And now I'm gonna go back to the starting measure. There you go, you get to watch me troubleshoot. Turn on some. Way too much, way too much echo. Okay, this guy. 
gotta be a way I can fix this. I'm not thinking of it right now. Oh, there you go. I'll do a master fix. You guys are gonna end the video now. I'm just got I'm messing around. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Um, hope you stay tuned for more. Also, if you'd like to request anything, um, please do that. You can do that in the comments. Uh, again, obviously, I am not a trained professional, but uh, I do like to play this piano and keyboard, and I will try to look stuff up for you, or um, you know, sometimes I do get lazy, um, or show, if I already know it, it'll definitely be easier for me to reply. If it's something I don't know, I can try to look it up, and I guarantee that I will, but if you get me curious too, there you go. See ya.